So it doesn't actually appear we've just lost power and we're literally about to hit a tsunami. Come on, regain, regain power of the stupid plane. So the FAA deemed this flight unsafe because supposedly the passengers weigh too much. And I was the only one that decided to actually take the flight. So let's see if this will actually end up working today. So I don't know what's going on in here, but it does appear that someone definitely overbooked. This thing is really just full of passengers. Let's go ahead and actually go to the flight deck here and see what's going on. Wow, who taxied this thing? It looks like we're about to take off in front of trees here. Okay, let's go ahead and start this thing up. Um, oh wow, that is, oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know what none of this means. Okay, you know what? Okay, I kind of know what that means. Uh, okay, this is gonna be interesting, y'all. It's gonna be an interesting takeoff. What in the world? I think something might have just broken on the plane because there's a lot of stuff in the water. I think that might just be oil. Anyways, let's take this thing off. And here we go. We are starting both of the engines here, right and left after clicking around 1,500 buttons. Let's really hope this thing has nose wheel steering because, um, okay, it does. Uh, we were about to go for some trees there. I don't know who taxied this thing once again, but, um, this is a very interesting airport to accidentally overbook a flight because we are definitely overweight. And if we don't take off in time, we will have a slight inconvenience, AKA a water landing. So before we actually take off today, I'm going to be letting you guys know the seat in front of you does not float. So don't even try ripping that off. Anyways, it does look like engine one and two has started on us. So we're going to go ahead and engage a little bit of throttle release. Park brake is on. I just exactly knew where that was at because it's always in the same spot with these aircrafts. Um, up and down is the throttle, right? Oh, this is such a good plane. Okay. So let's go in third person here and Engage a little bit of thrust here, just like so. And we should start rolling away here. Okay, we're rolling. I'm gonna also start turning left here with our front landing gear. And that does appear to be working. Okay, that's great. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Um, flight attendants, please prepare for takeoff. And crew members or uh, passengers, I don't know where they're at. Okay, it's just these big screens are in the way. Um, we'll turn those screens on in just a second here. Hold on, we got all the power going to the engines here. Now uh, we're gonna straighten out the wheel and engage full throttle. Here we go, we got full throttle engaged. And third first person here uh full throttle is currently being activated let's really hope this takeoff goes as planned here we go y'all this is it we got this thing on full it's taken around 20 minutes to actually get it to full but uh we'll be there eventually don't worry about it oh wow this thing's slow uh do not mind us being in the grass right now that is besides the point oh this is really scary okay we really got to gain speed here we're around halfway down the runway we're gonna start angling the nose up here come on i got this thing fully pulled up do i have hydraulics on okay there we go and Oh, this thing just barely lifted up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I kind of feel some slow motion going on here. Let's go ahead and put the landing gears up. Anyways, all that matters is that we're actually in the air right now. So what we're going to go ahead and do is retract the landing gear. So landing gear should be going up right now. Let's hope this doesn't destroy itself. Uh, this is such a cool looking plane. So this is a United Airlines plane. Um, if you guys have seen on the news recently, we probably shouldn't be in one of these, but that's besides the point. We are, and we're overbooked, and we have overweight and a whole bunch of other things. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your app speaking. We're going to be... Uh, rising altitude here so we're gonna completely we're not on full throttle there we go wait i forgot planes have over 100 percent throttle but we're gonna uh, start our ascent here i think i did see someone actually walk into the restroom unfortunately before flight started and they're probably still in there i don't know and they're gonna be in there for the rest of the flight after this other than that uh can i have a flight attendant please check up on him right now i don't care what type of elevation angle we're at this looks perfectly fine to me what in the world it looks like we were like bombed over there why is there such a crater okay well we're gonna uh be right for about five minutes here uh realistically on any other flight it'd be around a 30 minute rise but um with our new technology we got we can fly just vertically and it'll work out perfectly fine so i still don't know why they haven't implemented that anyways let's go ahead and actually start activating systems here so we can kick our feet back so let's see any autopilot here i think we are actually stalling out of the air right now i wouldn't be too surprised with um you know the amount of people we got in here uh we do we are overweight meaning you know it's gonna be harder to climb yeah we have just completely stalled out there that was not me trying to recover this thing come on i got this thing fully pulled up right now this thing would have already been at the altitude by now if we really weren't overbooked but um, unfortunately we do have slight issues i'm gonna have to talk to the flight attendants uh later in a certain um area where the, the passengers can't hear us because we will have to talk about throwing some passengers overboard if you know it gets to that point all right i think we're at about a pretty good altitude here let's go ahead and see what we got here so um a slash t arm no clue what that means on uh f y d on uh Oh, where's autopilot okay altitude hold on um adjust altitude hold so we're gonna go ahead and rise this to really 190 is the max okay no this is the altitude here here we go okay that makes sense then i think for the altitude hold to work you need to turn on autopilot um app maybe that might be it lnav autopilot there we go okay we're leveling out now i think we might just have it up perfect all righty so i would say we're at about a cruising altitude here let's go ahead and continue rising our um altitude here so we can be at 8800 there we go okay it does definitely 
work. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard your United Airlines flight on our way to, um, where, should, where are we going again? Uh, we're going to Atlanta Airport. Uh, we do not have any expected flight delays. I did hear their runway is completely sheeted in ice, so that'll be an interesting landing. Uh, but welcome aboard. We're going to go ahead and start our turn here with our yaw control. We have 106 kilometers to go. We'll be there in ETA 20 minutes. This is a pretty fast plane, especially if we're running on full throttle, which we are because um, that's just how we run things around here. The captain himself will be going back through here momentarily and turning on lights and stuff because I don't think the flight attendants know how. Can we do that by chance in here? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. Hold on. Pilots. Oh, okay. Let's not do fire suppression. Um, okay, so we are going towards the waypoint. I think it is about a pretty good time. We could stand up right now. Turn down the game volume a little bit. Uh, see what's going on back here. Uh, door? <laughs> the door is not open. Um, what's going on? Is, there, is it locked? Peephole? Okay. Um, oh, okay. It did open. It just got stuck a little bit. That's fine. It's a little bit. And, you know, the plane shifts in temperature, I think. Even though I really hope they design it a little bit differently than that. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and do uh, emergency. Nope, we don't want that. So this is our special flight attendant panel here. Um, we can select stuff. So select uh, down, down. Oh, this is so cool. Um, we're going to do, let's see, cruise select. And this should be our light. Oh my gosh. You know what? This is actually pretty fire. This is pretty sick. I'm not going to, is this sick flight attendant lady? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Uh, they're getting cold. How do I uh, fix this? Okay. So normally if there's some type of uh, issue going on with that, we need to turn on pack flows and we got the packs on here. Isolation valve. No clue what that means. Um, let's see here. Uh, maybe there's like a heating thing on this flight attendant panel. I'm sure there is panel lights, lamp test. What the wait? Lamp test. Uh, okay. Lamps work. I guess this is your captain speaking. We have a, uh, the captain going through right now asking if any you guys want any food here. You can turn on your TV, you know, you're going to turn it on. Um, it doesn't work. You oh, know, that's unfortunate. <laughs> what the heck? Why is their TVs not working? Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. It's starting to rain out here. Um, it's fine. These engines are made for rain. I think, I don't know. This is like one of the first rainstorms I've been in, but how do I turn on the heat? Uh, I have to look for heaters first. Cause I guess there probably might not even be any, but really though, why isn't there heaters in this thing? Cause we do have passengers on board getting frostbite right right now and i don't want a whole bunch of dead overweight passengers on board that's really the last thing i want here um sir how's your tv going it's not working okay i'm sorry normally i don't care uh if stuff like that doesn't work but um i kind of want this flight to be somewhat good let's go cvr erase okay uh i don't know what any of this means hydraulic shut off i don't want none of that so let everyone know the master caution slash fire warning was just on and i did acknowledge um i don't even know what i just acknowledged but um let's go in the see here is there any alerts data i don't see any fires oh it's starting to snow okay um, um, this is, yep, welcome to Atlanta. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is your captain going through. Unfortunately, the screens will not be working today. Uh, with that being said, you're going to be getting a 0.1% discount on this flight today. I know. Awesome. Okay, so uh, is that the landing gear? <laughs> Why is the landing gear going through the floor? I'm so sorry, ma'am. Do not worry about that. That is an issue I've already brought up with corporate and they're working on it. No, you will not be getting a full refund for that. It's not that big of a deal. Anyways, screens aren't working. I am going around with food right now. If any of you guys want any uh, flight flight attendants are currently hard at work doing about nothing right now to help me let's see what's going on over here though um let's see they should be making food i turn on the lights back here it's super dark i want to turn on the lights there we go okay i don't know what n lights mean so we're gonna turn that on okay we've selected those uh what does that do neotastic lights is that what that meant uh do they have any um area exits on the wing here that i could get some fresh air on no they don't are you kidding me right now what kind of stupid plane doesn't have an emergency exit on the wing that's honestly dude if we crash right now, we'd be in the water. Meaning I'd have to get my stinking shoes wet to get on the stupid wing. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, man, it is getting rough out here with all of this snow. But that is fine because we're in this amazing uh, United Airlines plane and should, nothing should happen. Uh, just monitoring the engines right now. It does look like we have a slight imbalance in thrust. 6.6 .6 on engine one. 6.7. Oh, wow. This is a pretty bad imbalance now. It's at 0.2 of a difference. So we are actually angling to the left, I'd say, a little bit. If engine one's producing less thrust. So, yeah, not good. I'm sorry, but I'm just wondering, ma'am, why is there oxygen mask in here? Why would I want? Oh, I mean, I guess if we lose cabin pressure, they're about to die from frostbite. Like we really adjust manual temperature. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, we can actually do the temperature control here. Um, okay. Now frostbite should be going away. Does this even work? Where are the heaters? I still, I'm still really concerned on this because passengers will start dying here in about three minutes if we don't get this situated. Um, let's see. We're going to do just full blaze hot. Will that work? Is, are you still, she's still getting frostbite. What's going on in here? Uh, we're going to be emergency restarting pack flows, ladies and gentlemen. You might uh, hear some funky noises back there. That is not my problem here.
here we go um it should be all on everything's on are you getting frostbite still you know what i think we might just have to really get at a low altitude here you know we're gonna set our altitude hold to nope we're not gonna rise it we're actually gonna be going down to probably a thousand i should just make it so we can crack open a window or something and get some of that warmer air in here although it is a little bit concerning out here it is snowing um should be a little bit warmer oh man what's going on with this flight i really wish we could fix this heating problem we literally have the pack flows on full blast heat but um nothing's actually working here oh, hold on passenger oxygen on um what in the world master caution slash fire are engines exploding no i don't see any engines exploding but we are getting alerts in here about what let's see um is there like a data center control panel i can look at that says what's going on i'm just gonna acknowledge okay that's normally what you do either way i'm gonna be taking control of this plane here and angling the nose down myself because we really just need to hurry this process up here uh here we go all right ladies and gentlemen please get in your seats if you aren't already you can probably feel us starting to die bomb right now no we are not going to crash we're just trying to emergency descend this is actually i think something they do in real life not at this probably angle but um if the cabin does lose pressure they do try immediately lowering their altitude uh okay we did not just get struck by lightning i was a little bit concerned there but they try lowering their altitude so they can crack open an emergency exit or something to get some fresh air i think that's how it works someone let me know down in the comments i'm pretty sure i'm right though um looking down here though it is looking pretty rough we're getting like some type of slushy snow type of vibe um it's snow and rain so really disgusting we do have anti-ice on or something like that um yeah okay so we should not get any frozen stuff on the wings okay now it's pure rain that's amazing so it went to snow to rain is that how it works in real life i don't know but um passengers should not be getting none of that frostbite anymore let's see um it's not going down like it used to oh yep it's going up okay so that is good wait was it going up or down i, just, I don't know oh hold on a second okay it's going back so i did do the right move as the captain uh by lowering the altitude it's looking good though so we did i think save a bunch of passengers here yeah we're actually having a very severe engine imbalance right now at about 5.8 to 6.4 that is a six point uh, difference right there that is pretty major y'all um i did not get atc clearance to be flying this low either if you guys were wondering um you know what? let's actually gain a little bit of altitude i'm kind of scared at flying this low especially with our um let's just say the faa warning because we are overweight and if we get struck by lightning we have about zero zero minutes to pull up like i want to have a little bit of time just in case you gotta have that little bit of area to actually save yourself here yeah just looking at the waves though they are unfortunately starting to pick up meaning the wind up here is probably gonna get even worse so we're gonna experience around 500 mile per hour winds at around this altitude right here which is totally fine which means we'd probably be flying at a uh, speed of zero miles per hour ground speed but that's besides the point oh look at that did we get hit no we didn't oh this thing's a beauty dude that was right there that was so awesome okay i'm so thankful we didn't get shot out of the air though or struck out of the air i don't know whatever you want to call it ladies and gentlemen uh we are at a cruising altitude again you guys can do whatever back you guys are probably noticing me like stuttering when i'm actually talking to the cabin and like you know slurring my words uh yeah that's just it's so funny listening to the cabin trying to understand what i say even though i have no idea what i'm saying either um wow 4.8 to 6.4 that just is a, an amazing difference so now it's past the one point what in the world oh, hold on a second what in the world is going on down there um, I'm gonna hop on my radio real quick and just I'll kindly alert all the boats because that is something I would probably wish to be alerted for if I was the boat. Um, let's see. How do I alert them? I don't feel like it actually. You know, yeah, they can have fun with it. I did hear today they're gonna be working on windmills, so I feel I really feel bad for that operator that's on that one right now because he has a pretty nice surprise incoming. Anyways, that is not our concern. Oh man, that'd be so awesome trying to actually end up surfing that thing, but uh nah, I don't think we should probably do that. Do you guys know what it feels like to like drive a tank? That's what it feels like right now because this thing weighs about as much as one, you know, probably around 200 times that with the passengers in here. But like, I feel like this thing was so much easier to fly before these passengers got in this thing. No wonder why they were trying to tell me about that warrant. Uh, are we starting to angle down? How about we don't do that? See, that is something that would not be normally happening. Like normally this thing automatically angles up because the engines are below the wings and you know, the thrust will push you upwards. But with how many people we got in this thing right now, that is just not the case. I'm actually trying to pull up now. It's not working. Full throttle, full throttle for throttle let's go let's go let's go let's go oh my gosh we're actually below the tsunami right now holy cow that almost was terrible oh man oh oh no that's bad i was actually angling the nose down when that happened um auxiliary battery turn it on turn it on auxiliary battery down on oh this is bad this is bad go 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 regain power y'all we've just been struck by lightning this is bad this is bad i'm desperately trying to pull up right now Ooh, oh my gosh wait why is the plane doing this it feels so weird i feel like i'm like losing hydraulic control right now let's see um we're not getting any warnings everything looks good on here okay that's fine uh, what about a master oh yeah master
Master Caution's going pretty crazy right now. I wish it would tell me what Master Caution was. Like, what? what's Master... Oh, that's actually terrible. So it does actually appear we've just lost power and we're literally about to hit a tsunami. Come on, regain! Regain power of the stupid plane! No! Okay, it's fine. Engines haven't hit the water yet, right? Yes, they haven't. Engine 2 hasn't. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What in tarnation? But um, really, though, that's... I don't know how we didn't even just crash there. Probably all the weight in this thing made it more buoyant or some crap like that. Okay, uh, we were talking about surfing the tsunami earlier. Let's actually not do that. I, that wasn't even planned, but I think we just did that there for a second. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. If you look on your left or right wing, I am activating fire suppression right now just for fun. Don't worry about it. Nothing crazy is happening. I'm just going to test the engines here. Let's see how well these things can perform with all the suppression flying in there. Awesome. Uh, we're actually having an issue here. I'm trying to pull angle up right now. We may or may not have lost. Okay, I can kind of control it. You guys can see it moving up and down. That's about the maximum control I have, but um, it's not looking too good. We have a terrible crosswind. We're going down right now, actually, I think, because, dude, I don't know what's going on. I think our engines actually just gave up on us. Oh, man, this is about to get rough. This is about to get rough. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Flight Dennis, please prepare for uh, immediate impact here. This is going to be very interesting. Man, you have got to be kidding me. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, brace for impact. Come on, pull up, pull up, recover it. Yes, here we go, here we go. I think we may have just gotten it. Um, The engines just totally turned off oh no oh no oh no this is bad pull up pull up pull up here we go get it up in the air oh man we just weigh way too much this is terrible we are in the water right now we're flooding we're flooding we're flooding evacuate evacuate this is when we evacuate guys um the door's not open whoa the, there goes the power um that's amazing oh this is really bad what's going on everybody evacuate uh we're gonna go ahead and try swimming out it's not letting me swim go evacuation go and escape the plane there we go evacuation lights are on everybody escape let's go i'm gonna take the flight attendant with me uh let's go let's Let's go let's go let's go what in the world why is this plane sinking um you guys know how planes are supposed to float bro even in movies planes float this one's not floating i mean eh, it kind of is i thought this thing would be more buoyant because of the passengers but um anyways let's go to this wing here because this is about the only thing above the water and it's going under right now okay there's a little bit left that's fine that'll work for me um let's hope this passenger isn't the one that you know was targeted by that overweight thing oh finally we're done swimming oh no we got an oil leak y'all this is bad this is bad okay we got to get on the end of the swing here. I cannot touch my shoes in the water. Oh, no. You're kidding me. My brand new Yeezys just got touched in the water. Y'all, This is. there's so many people in there, too, just to throw that out there. Like, honestly, I feel terrible for all the AI in there. Oh, that's a body. Um, That's another body. That's two bodies. I don't even hear. You know what? Let's just take a sneak peek of what's going on in here. I'm sure. Yep, this is the ceiling. Um, Don't worry about it. The lighting kind of makes this look a little bit cinematic, but that's besides the point. As you can see, we did end up crashing because we had way too much weight on the play and that was actually insane i desperately tried saving that thing at the end there but um the weight just kind of you know overdid it there. let me know what your favorite part of this video was down in the comments and drop a video idea down in the comments too because i read all the comments lastly go ahead and join the discord link is in the description but thank you guys all for watching until the end and goodbye